Get the old power stroke started up. I am super pumped for this video guys super super excited about this right now so I'm gonna turn this beautiful crew cab beast off f350 XLT power stroke diesel this is a video I'm super pumped about and it has never happened that we have had this duo sitting here um, we've done a lot of giveaways where we've had back-to-back -back, you know second gens or you know, uh, second gen 12 valve and a 24 valve or you know, an OBS and a second gen or a third gen or whatever. But these are two trucks that we have never had on this channel, not one time. And I say channel, but I also mean like on our website and giveaway and stuff like that. We've never had these two trucks ever and they're up for grabs at the exact same time. That is correct. Right now, you can head on over to lmpgear.com. There'll be a link down in the description below, but also you can just type it in here if you'd rather do that. But I do prefer you use the link or I recommend you use the link because sometimes when you Google search it, it'll bring up random other businesses or websites that have nothing to do with our brand. So it's always better to just click the link in the description below. Tons of new merch, new stuff on the site. And thank you guys so much to everybody who tried out our jerky and to everybody that tried out our new three packs of car air fresheners. Um, this was our number one seller. I mean, they all were. This one sold out the fastest. It was the Black Ice Edition, um, but it they all sold out within four days, I think, all of our air fresheners. So thank you so much. And then our jerky as well. Um, I think we sold like all 300 bags of jerky in a matter of like three or four days. So it was something, it was something really crazy. So thank you guys so much for trying that stuff out, giving it a shot you're not going to be disappointed with it again it's a little bit on the pricey side if you're comparing it to junk they can go grab at a gas station that's loaded up with preservatives and msg and stuff but if you're wanting high quality stuff it's priced accordingly and that's why it's priced the way that it is it's top notch top quality kind of like these shirts that we have here see how they're sleeve fitted and i'm by no means um somebody that fills sleeves on everyday t-shirts but they're sleeve fitted they are tight up around the upper chest area and then they are more loose fit down low you know what i mean that you know is a good thing for a lot of guys so anyways super comfortable stuff um we believe that our stuff is up there with the best of the best in the industry that is available for you guys and we try to bring the most value with our products and our services not just garbage okay so anyways if you want to get the best of the best we provide literally some of the best stuff you can get and we are not just trying to sell you a bunch of junk to enter to win these tracks we're trying to sell you the best quality stuff we can get our hands on so when you buy something not only are you getting the benefit of entering to win a vehicle but you're also getting something that is worth the money you're spending because you know you work hard for your money you want to make the most of it so why not get entries but also get high quality stuff dual entry is live for the first gen and this crew cab long bed 7.3 power stroke that is a four-wheel drive truck here as well um if you guys want to get entered into both it's a 30 times bonus but it's essentially 60 because you're getting 30x into this one and 30x into this one for the price of each order or in each one dollar that you spend so instead of getting you know 30 entries for every one dollar you're still getting 30 entries for this truck but you're also getting 30 put in for this one at the same time but only until this sunday so we're going to go over these trucks and then we're going to go over like top features and just kind of point out some of the things about these give you guys a full look around because of course these are two really cool really hard to find very you know this one's 
you know, more customized, but very hard to find and very well maintained and just good looking truck. So right here we have the regular cab, long bed, W350, and this is a four wheel drive, five speed manual truck. And I'll show you on the inside of this again, cause I don't think I have in a little while, but it is a five speed manual, four wheel drive truck. We do have a little RPM gauge put in up there as well. Dash interior is in really good shape other than maybe needing a little bit of carpet shampooing in a couple spots, which, you know, it's 1993, it's 30 years old. Other than that, this, this interior is held up extremely, extremely well. Beautiful truck, power windows, power locks, it all works, which is awesome. And just as a full recap on this truck, and I'll make it very brief, because I don't want the whole video to be just about this truck. Gunmetal gray metallic paint that we put on the truck, totally custom. We did the little chrome Cummins badges, debadged every other thing on the truck that was there. No moldings, no other badging at all, just that. We had these steps paint match to the color of the truck, which if you look at the flake in that, it is beautiful. Turned out really, really well. We did 30570 R16 Toyo MT tires on this truck. Only the best MT tire. And then we also went with you know the wheels that came on this truck when we bought it we could have swapped them but we wanted to stick with these and they are 16 inch alcoa wheels two inch spacer between the rear duals that way the tires do not rub under a load or just simple daily use you can see the gap between them there we did do some full led headlights full led cab lights with the amber and the smoked lenses and the cab lights themselves were paint matched to the cab of the truck so that way there was no odd colors sticking out that didn't go with the theme. New chrome bumper up front, new chrome bumper in the rear, new tail lights, marker lights, etc. Truck is stout. It's ready to go. It's clean. It's beautiful. Originally from Las Vegas, Nevada, before it was brought out our direction just a couple years ago. Never driven in salt and snow, and it shows. I mean, the thing is super clean. Super, super clean. So, that's the first gen which also comes with five grand, keep in mind, ends this Sunday for good and you will not have another chance to enter to win this truck. Okay, beautiful first gen 12 out Cummins. And then over here, you've got the crew cab long bed Ford and this is the new girl to the party here. And this truck is just a freaking beast. I mean, it's first off, the thing is just absolutely massive. It's a crew cab long bed truck as previously mentioned multiple times. And this truck is just absolutely massive, okay? The long bed looks good as a dually on this truck. If it was not a dually, some guys still love the long bed on these two and three fifties. Um, I personally don't, unless it's a dually. And this is just the, this is, to me, this is the cream puff. This is the configuration I would want in a long bed crew cab Ford. This is what I'd want is as a dually with some 305, 70 R16s. Alcoas, this is the setup I would want on this truck if I was gonna keep it as my own. And it honestly makes me sad sometimes knowing that I can't even enter to win my own trucks, which makes sense, obviously, that would be weird. But I mean, these things are just so clean and um, you know, you can't, you can't run a business and keep all the trucks that you build, you know what I mean? You can keep some of them, like this is my baby and I've got another new one on the way. More info coming on that soon, but I do have a new truck being delivered. Take your guesses in the comment section below what you think it is. And yes, this is a truck for me. But this truck is just beautiful. This is one I would want to, you know, have, keep, store. If I had the extra room, just store it away and just maintain it, care for it, but not really let it see too many difficult days in its life because it's just going to hold its value insanely. And it's going to be worth a ton to somebody. And it already is. But I'm just saying that value is only going to excessively increase. So it's just a beautiful truck all around, hard to find, hard to get. And the fact that it was already, you know, four wheel drive converted with a Dana 60 years ago, I think it was like over a decade ago. So this truck's been rolling around like this for a long, 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 long time. It's not like, oh, it was just swapped and we don't know if it's going to hold up. Like this truck's been driving like this for a, over a decade, the way that it's been swapped. Um, so it, it's awesome. It's ready to go. It's reliable. It's cool. Lower mileage truck too. It's got 140 on it, which is awesome. Let me show you the interior of this bad boy here. Of course, it's cloth interior. Seats are a little bit dusty. You know, it's old, but overall it's in really, really good shape. Back seat's not ripped up. 
again carpet could be lightly clean but you know it's original carpet from 1997 headliner i believe is brand new at some point it does have the lights here and there obviously you gotta have the truck on but it does have the interior lights power windows all around and they all work four-wheel drive shifter on the ground just like it would have had from factory it does have the illuminated four-wheel drive lighting that was installed there when the swap was done right down there so this thing is this thing is ready to go it is a true you know four-wheel drive swapped um truck that's ready to go this to me just kind of seems weird there's like an ash tray right down here but the weird thing about it is the fact that there's an ashtray right here next to all of this super flammable material it doesn't strike me as a good idea but hey you know what i didn't design the truck Coming around up front, middle seat folds up. It's actually a really big middle seat. And since you don't have any junk up here, it's actually pretty comfortable. You could fit a full size person there. And then you got, of course, the driver's seat, which doesn't have any rips either, which is actually incredible. Again, 140 on the truck. Dash is in pretty darn good shape. It's got one little crack right there. Just one little tiny one, little hairline crack. And then there's a little bit of dirt in here, which will get clean. But that brings me to my next thing. The tint on the truck has just been completed, which is why there's a little bit of dirt in the interior. Because when we got this truck back and then we did the tires and we did the tint, all that stuff, it was like the most torrential downpouring rains we have experienced yet since moving to ohio for like 48 hours straight i mean the whole yard was underwater i mean our basement was flooding just stuff that has not happened around here was just happening i mean just rain 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 constantly and so of course you know our tent guy he's coming out here trying to do his best to knock it out it's a mud pit he's having to drive his car back through the mud all the way back here trying to get this done and he did a super phenomenal job on the tent we did five percent on the sides five percent on the back no tint up front because we don't need it the windshield is super clean and super nice and with that light factory tint just across the top portion of the windshield we just didn't see a need for that kind of like the first gen it's got that factory tint across the top with the brand new windshield put in there and it actually matches that truck almost perfectly so like with the first gen we did tint on the sides in the back five percent no tint up front same with this truck and he did a phenomenal phenomenal job it's not bubbled out or anything like that and it was just done about three days ago and like with this truck i mean the thing it looks good it runs good it drives good there's just there's just something about finding these trucks like especially like with the first gen here like you find one of these trucks you know it didn't have a lot of problems it ran mechanically it was it was flawless but you know paint was faded off from sitting out west you know it needed paint it needed some light body work done it needed tires it needed a bunch of different little things just in my opinion they're small things expensive things but they're small in terms of the overall truck and urgent things that it needed it didn't really need anything because it was already resealed and everything else in terms of the engine and all that stuff and the differentials and all that i mean it had already been gone through it had just never gotten to the paint and bodywork stage which i was glad because we were able to go with the color that we wanted and really make the truck something special something that you can't just go find from a first gen not that they're easy to find in any color anymore but this this color particularly you could not get that truck like that and we want it to be something that didn't scream obnoxious but it just looked cool and classy but just to let everybody know it is aftermarket and you know it, it's something special and with this truck we didn't have to do any paint work or anything like that on it it was just kept this nice and there's really just not much else to say about it i mean the thing was just kept in great shape over the years so we did the tint and the tires and other than that she's ready to go some trucks need more than others like that truck needed a ton of work in terms of paint tires tint bunch of small things lighting bumpers all that stuff this truck didn't really need anything yeah we paid a lot more for it than the first gen originally but it also didn't need as much work so it all kind of compensates for itself this thing is just gorgeous so let me know down in the comment section below guys which one are you hoping to win more are you hoping for this first gen or are you hoping for that obs power stroke again these are two separate giveaways most of the youtube family understands how the dual entry period works when we do it but these are two separate giveaways, 
two separate drawings, two separate end dates. This one's ending on September 3rd. This one ends on October 8th, but this is the only week where these overlap. So if you were thinking about entering for this truck anyway, why not enter right now? Well, you're gonna get entered for that truck with 30X, but also you're gonna get those entries thrown into this giveaway as well. You're just doubling your opportunity. So basically when you spend $30 on the store, it's basically as if you were spending 60 under any other circumstances because you're getting that value worth of entries into the giveaway. So just something to think about, but which one are you hoping for more and which one in your opinion is the more desirable truck? This one of course is a factory four wheel drive, five speed, you know, W350, regular cab long bed truck. That is a factory configuration, the way that it would have come. But this truck here, it's not factory, but believe it or not, it's still worth more than this truck if it was factory the way that it normally came. So when you get on Facebook and if you're looking in marketplaces and groups and you're trying to find one of these trucks is a two wheel drive crew cab long bed, they're a dime a dozen, a crew cab long bed with two wheel drive, they're everywhere. And you can get them, you know, relatively affordable, you know, 12 to 20 grand, depending on the mileage and how clean and all that jazz. But this truck has a four wheel drive converted, <laughs> was not cheap, not anywhere near the price of one of these if it was two wheel. Yeah, it's converted, but it's still desirable. Kind of like these trucks when guys do a crew cab swap on it, because you could take an extended cab first gen, pull it off, put a short bed and a crew cab from a later body, like an earlier body style on there. And guys will pay two times as much for the truck, even though it's not a factory configuration, but just because, you know, it was converted over to be like that. I mean, guys will pay a fortune for those things in terms of value, more desirable, long-term, which one, which one would take the cake? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget, you can get entered to win both of these at the same time. Like I said, guys, we offer some of the highest quality products you can get in the industry doing this. Um, we don't just like take the cheapest t-shirts we can find and slap a logo on it and try to sell it. Um, like this is a Richardson cap. This is a super high-end t-shirt. Like I said, the fitment and everything is phenomenal. Um, it's way more expensive for us to manufacture and produce a shirt like this than it is just a generic, you know, cheap, horrible fitted like golden t-shirt but that's not how we want to represent our brand we want our brand to be represented in a brand that sells quality products to win quality vehicles that are in a specific niche that we are very fond of so something to take into consideration um you get what you pay for in a lot of cases some cases not so much but in this case it is and uh, you're getting good stuff to win an awesome pickup anyways guys thanks so much and i will catch you in the next video peace